Hi there, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob. Today's Ask Bob answer is all about how to add a watermark to your photo. I've gotten a lot of questions about adding watermarks, so I figured I'd answer them all in one go with this Ask Bob video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch over to Photoshop Elements, and I'm using Photoshop Elements 14 on the Mac, but if you're on Windows or if you're using an older version of Photoshop Elements, don't worry, all the same techniques I'm going to show you today work exactly the same. So let's get started with making our watermark file. First thing I want to do is File, New, Blank File. That'll open up this dialog box that lets me create a new file. Uh, let's start off by giving it a name. I'm just going to call it My Watermark. Of course, the name you choose could be whatever you want. A uh, couple settings to worry about from here. So width and height. I need to set the width and height of my file. I'm going to go ahead and set it to 1,000 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall. Uh, you may need to set it a different size depending upon what you want to create a watermark of. Uh, but this is a good starting point and you can go from there. I'm going to set the resolution at 300 pixels per inch and I'm going to set the background contents. This is important. I'm going to set the background contents to transparent and then just click OK. That'll go ahead and create my file for me. Now at this point I can do a number of different things. I could uh, paste in some kind of graphic. Maybe if I had a company logo, I might want to paste that company logo into my file. I could type some text. I could do some drawing, kind of whatever I wanted to do to create my watermark, I would do in this file. I'm going to do just a simple watermark of some text uh, to be able to get through this demo fairly quickly. So over here on the left, I'm going to click on the text tool. Down in the bottom, I'm going to click on tool options to bring up the options for my text tool and then uh, make a couple choices. So probably the hardest thing uh, to do is pick a font. Uh, there's a ton of fonts installed on my system, so let's just go ahead and pick something like Arial Bold, something straightforward, uh, set my size uh, and set my alignment to left. And then go ahead over here on the left side of my document and just click and I get the text uh, insertion point, that flashing vertical line, and I can start typing my text. I'm just going to hold down the Alt uh, or Option key, depending upon whether you're on Windows or Mac, and type G. That gets me the copyright symbol. Uh, then I'm going to type uh, 2016, so copyright 2016, and my name, Bob Gager. And there we go. The next step is to just confirm that uh, I've typed the text that I want, and that's what this little green check mark is for. So go ahead and click on the green check mark to confirm that you're done editing your text. Now I want to just move my text around and size it a little bit, so I'm just going to click and drag it down to the bottom, to the left, and then click on this little corner right here, top right corner, and drag that up and to the right, and you can see as I make my uh, text box bigger, uh, the text is automatically scaled to fit. So drag it up to fit my entire document. Again, the green check mark to confirm my changes, and I'm good to go. So as simple as that, I've created a uh, watermark uh, for adding copyright information to any photo that I want to add that to very easily. So go ahead and do File, Save, so that we can use it uh, at any time we want. Uh, give it a name, uh, since I called it my watermark. Uh, originally, when I created the new document, it's automatically used that name for my file. I'm just going to drop it on my desktop. Make sure the format is set to Photoshop, in case we want to come back and change things later. And uh, either include it or not in the Elements Organizer, depending upon how you're managing your photos. When you've got all your settings set properly, click Save, and you're done. Now what we want to do is take this watermark file and add it to one of our photos. Uh, so first thing we need to do is open up a photo. Uh, lots of ways to get a photo open in Photoshop Elements. I'm just going to go to File. Open recently edited file because I know I've got a nice surfer picture here that I want to add a watermark to. All right, so we've got our surfer picture open. Down here along the bottom is our photo bin button right here, bottom left. Go ahead and click on photo bin and we can see all of the photos that we currently have open in Photoshop Elements. 
And with my surfer picture selected and my watermark file open, all I have to do is drag and drop that watermark file from my photo bin and just drop it right here on top of my photo. Now, Photoshop Elements will put it right here in the center. I don't typically want a watermark in the center. I might want to drop it down here in the bottom right corner, so I just drag it down to where I want it. If I want it bigger or smaller, I can just drag the corner. I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can sort of move it and size it any way I want to make it appropriate for my photo. Again, once I'm done moving and sizing, the green check mark is how I commit my changes. So go ahead and click on the green check mark. And let's zoom in a little bit so we can see our watermark there in the bottom right corner of our surfer picture. So that's uh, kind of plain and simple how to create a watermark file and then how to drop that watermark file onto another photo. Now, if you want to get uh, a little more advanced um, by formatting or styling your watermark a little bit, uh, let me show you how to do that. So this black text watermark works good on the surfer photo because the contrast against the color of the sand is nice. But what if I've got another photo? Let me do file, open recently edited file, sunset. Uh, so here's a different file where when I drag and drop my watermark on there and move it, oh, pick my move tool here, move it down uh, to the bottom right, it doesn't really stand out. Let me zoom in a little bit here so we can see what's going on, right? I've got black text on a very dark blue background uh, and my watermark really doesn't stand out. So up top, I want to switch to expert mode. That's up here across the top where we've got elements live, quick, guided, and expert. Just go ahead and click on expert. Up, oh, I need to scroll down a little bit to get my watermark back on screen. There we go. So now I'm back down to the bottom corner. And uh, what I want to do is change this watermark layer. When I dragged and dropped my watermark, Elements automatically created a layer for me with the name of my file. So go ahead and click on my watermark or whatever you named your file. And then under the um, layer menu, click on layer click on layer style and click on style settings. And that'll bring up a butt dialog box where we can do some fine tuning of our watermark layer. We can do something like uh, add a bevel to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on bevel and you can see we've got a little bit of a bevel look to it. So now it sort of feels like smooth rounded 3D text. Uh, we can add a little bit of a glow. I'm gonna click on glow and I wanna add an outer glow and I can add a glow of any color I want, uh, maybe a little bit of yellow, something like that. So now I've got a slight yellow glow around my watermark layer. I can change the size of the glow if I want it really big or really small, right? Anything I want to make it look like I want it to look to get my watermark to stand out. And maybe finally I'll add a bit of a, a stroke. So a stroke is just an outline around uh, my letters. Uh, I don't want black because my letters are black, so I'll just click on the black color chip. And in the dialog that pops up, go up here and click on the white area. Uh, but if I wanted red or yellow or green or any other stroke color, I could do that too. But I'm going to use white. And you see now I've got a very small white outline around all of my text. I can use the size slider and change that. If I make it really big, well, then it'll completely cover my text. So now I've got white text instead of black text. But what I really want to do is just maybe have about a one or two pixel uh, stroke around the outside of my watermark. When I'm done styling that layer, go ahead and click OK, and I'm done. So I've taken a black watermark, I've dropped it on a very dark background, and then I've added a little bit of layer styling to get it to pop out a little bit. Uh, double click on the hand uh, tool in the top left and it will zoom back out to get my photo to fit. And you can see now it'll stand out a little bit. So there you go. That's how to create a watermark file in Photoshop Elements and then use that watermark file over and over again so you don't have to recreate it every time. Use it over and over again on your photos, whether they have a light background or a dark background, uh, you can make your watermark stand out. Hope that helps everybody out there struggling with watermarks and uh, enjoy using Photoshop Elements. Take care.